Hey guys, so in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to add an arrow into DaVinci Resolve. So just your generic arrow pointing to something in your video. Um, originally, when I wanted to add this into my own videos, I thought it would be quite an easy process, but it is a little bit technical within DaVinci Resolve. So I found a super easy way to do this, and I'm just gonna run you through this process quickly. So diving straight into it, the first thing you'll need to do is download an image of an arrow without a background. So just to show you here, an image of an arrow without a background. As you can see, I've got a couple of examples here that you can come and download off this Google Drive. I'll link this in the video description. If you don't like any of these designs, you can find a lot more online. Just go and have a look. You should be able to find them quite easily. Now heading into DaVinci Resolve, obviously you've got your project and you now wanna add that arrow into your project. So the first thing to do is to open the media pool and drag in an arrow from your download section. So I'm just gonna drag in this arrow into the media pool that'll appear over there. Once you've done that, the next step is to select where in the video you want your arrow to appear. So let's just say for the sake of this, I want this arrow to appear at this section in the video. Drag your cursor there and then hit Control or Command B to cut or split the video over there. It'll just make it a lot easier to add that arrow in accurately. Now, once you've made your cut, the next step is to actually drag in the fusion composition that'll put that arrow into your video. So to do that, just minimize the media pool, open up the effects library, then under effects, drag in the fusion composition drag that in and just snap that into place at your split. Now, the first thing to note is that we have to have this little icon up at the top right here enabled. So if we disable that, our arrow won't appear in our playback because as you can see here, you can we can use this little icon to bypass color grades and fusion effects. And obviously this is a fusion effect. So once you've ensured that that is enabled, then to select your fusion composition, firstly drag your cursor over the fusion composition and then select the fusion composition and then head on over to the fusion tab down at the bottom over here. And that'll redirect you to a page that looks something like this. So in the bottom section here, you'll see your nodes. If for whatever reason you aren't able to see your nodes, just click on the nodes tab up at the top over here and that'll obviously hide or enable your nodes. Then the next step is to drag in a background node. So come over to this icon over here on the left, drag that in and you can see your background node and then you will, sorry, and then we'll need to connect the background node with the output node like that. Now we have to drag in our arrow. So come up here and drag in your arrow into the node section and connect that node with the background node. And as you can see here, that's our arrow that has just appeared. Now to change the color of this arrow, click on the background node and select your color by clicking on this little color box. Let's just say we want it green in this example and then click OK. So now as you can see, we have our arrow all set up. Now heading back on over to the timeline. So just to show you what I mean about this little thing up at the top here, if we disable that, the arrow disappears. If we enable that, obviously the arrow appears. Now we're gonna need to reposition and resize this arrow so that it obviously works in our video. So to do that, click on your fusion composition and then hit inspector in the top right corner. And that'll open up all of these settings down over here. And then you can fiddle with all of these to obviously adjust your arrow to how you'd like it. So for example, zoom, we can make that smaller um, and then position, we can move that left and right or up and down. And then rotation, obviously we can play with that to rotate that angle how we'd like it. Then once you've done that and you're happy with that, you can close that inspector tab just by clicking on it. And then we can just choose how long we want this arrow to appear for. So let's just say we want to crop this fusion composition a little bit so that if we play this back, sorry, my computer's a bit glitchy, but if we play that back, that arrow will appear there like that and then disappear. So that was pretty much it. There are just a couple things I wanna go over in terms of troubleshooting some common errors that you may run into, sorry, when using these fusion compositions. So firstly, just ensure that this little icon up at the top right here is enabled. That'll ensure that your arrow does appear. Then secondly, let's say for example, you didn't have your cursor on the fusion composition when you added in those nodes. So let's say for example, you selected the fusion composition, you headed into the fusion tab and you get redirected to something that looks like this, where you just have the media in node and the media out node node and you're wondering now where on earth did my background node go just ensure that your cursor is over the fusion composition and then that background node and your obviously media input node will appear now just for example here let's say for whatever reason you were on just your video and you were on the fusion tab and you deleted the media input or media in node so we deleted that. Now, if we head on back to the timeline, we can see that our video doesn't appear. So we play back our video and it, and it doesn't appear. 
then what you might think, you know, if we if we delete this video and re-add it, it'll solve that issue, but it doesn't. What you'll need to do is, is click on this, on this video, highlight your cursor over this video, head back on over to the Fusion tab and essentially add this input node back into the node section. So to do that, take your original video that you added into your timeline, drag that down and then join those two nodes again. And as you can see there, your video will be back to normal. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully that helped you out. Again, I've left that Google Drive in the description below. So feel free to go through that drive and, and take what you want. If you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible with, with what I know. Yep, so hopefully that helped and I'll see you in the next video. Cool, cheers.